Hello, good morning. It's your girl, Tinker Goddess. And I was just coming on here to for, to help some people that's probably new to this or some people that's not familiar with this. I just want to say if you're doing any type of domination ritual or domination or you're working any type of domination candle and St. Martha has accepted you, accepted your request, and she wants to, you know, work with you and things of that nature, be careful who it is that you are uh, wanting to dominate. You have to be very mindful. And see, some people, you know, get bad results and things of that nature because they not, they're not cautious. You know, you just can't go around dominating certain types of people. Like, say, for instance, you get somebody and you don't know that they have a, a, a severe mental uh, health issue. And say, for instance, they're stubborn. They don't want to take their medication. They don't want to go and get any type of help uh, to, uh, you know what I'm saying, correct the fact that mental illness or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Then you got hell on your hands. Or say, for instance, you you trying to dominate a person, but you don't know much about them. So you got to do, you got to learn about a person. You And I know people are not going to tell you everything because people is going to withhold information from you. The things, the good, the bad, the ugly, or just things that they don't want you to know. But say, for instance, you met this person and you're trying to dominate them and you don't know much about them, but they got a sex addiction or, they, or they're a nympho or they got a gambling addiction. Okay, when you do dominate them and things of that nature, you can ask St. Martha to take away the negative things, but those are the negative thoughts that they probably are having in their head about you. Because they habits, you know what I'm saying? You have to do a whole nother ritual, you know what I'm saying, to try to break those habits that they have. Because if they're a cheater or if they're a nympho, they're going to cheat on you. Each and every time. And that's something that you're going to deal, you're going to have to deal with. And St. Martha, she's going to do what she has to do on your behalf. And she's going to bring that person, uh, you know, close to you. And, you know, where, you know, you, you'll be with them and things of that nature. But then you'll be with them and you'll be with their baggage too. You'll be with them and you'll be right along with all the extra shit that they got bringing, you know, to the table. And some of those things you probably not, you know, in for. Or what if you try to dominate somebody and they are um, an abuser, mentally or physically? Do you know what you're getting yourself into? You could be, you could be headed down the wrong, the wrong road to disaster. That's why you got to know exactly what it is you're doing when you're working with certain spirits. You got to know what it is that you want your intentions what are your what do you want to dominate the person for like any type of work that i do for a person i have to have them explain to me in detail why what's the reason 